in this cypress tutorial we are going to see how to rerun a test or how to retry a test automatically when test is getting failed the syntax syntax is very simple so inside the test we have to pass this particular object so we have to pass the retry keyword colon and here we have to pass the count so that's a number so for example if i want to run two times so here i have to pass the one as the numeric value so let's see an example how you can rerun the test automatically when a test is getting failed so here i will go to the vs code now and here i will quickly create a one javascript spec file so here i'll say retry test.cy.js so that's it so simply i will go to the one of the js file and i will copy the one test and which has the test suit so here i will paste it so here i will delete the not required code so that's it guys now i will rename the test suit name as so here i'll say retry rerun rerun suit and in the similar way i will add the test name as retry and rerun test that's it we have added a simple test here and now so let me go to the cypress runner and we will try to run this particular test now so here i will go to the test runner and i will refresh the spec file so this time our test will work fine so here i will open the retry test.cy.js file so this time our test will work fine so there will be no issues in the automation test and if you see here so our test is getting passed now i will intentionally fail this particular test by passing the incorrect class value here so here i will say testers talk that's it so this time in this particular line uh, it is unable to identify the element which has the this particular class name and it will it will be not able to perform the click operation also so that's the reason our script will get fail and if i rerun the same test so this time our test will get fail because test will be unable to identify the element and then we will add the retry approach and if you see here so we got the assertion error so it is saying that uh, it is unable to find the class value as a test uh, testers talk so this is expected failure now i will go to the test now so after the comma in this line number 3 so simply add the two flower brackets that's the open and close flower brackets so here inside that simply we have to add the retries colon here we have to add the one or two or any value you can add it so always it starts with the zero value so if i mention one here so it will retry for the two times so i have saved the test now i will go back to the test runner once again and here i will rerun the test so so this time so there will be a two attempts for running the same test because uh, test is getting failed here if test is getting passed it will never retry for the second time first time test is getting executed and if you see here so this is the first attempt so it it is trying to execute the same test in the second att second attempt here you can see that attempt 2 in the attempt 2 also our test is getting failed and if you see here count so our test our test is getting failed so that is expected failure here so if i pass the correct value here so si similar way you can even give the two as well so it will try to execute the same test three times and finally we will see how we will see how to pass the correct class value 
and that time it will never re-execute the same test that means it will never rerun the same test once again because when test is getting passed so it will never retry for the attempt so now this now now this sorry guys so this time it is trying to execute the same test three times so if you see here so this is attempt two and now it is trying to execute the same test in the attempt three also because our test is getting failed here so let's wait for a couple more seconds and if you see here so our test is our test is getting failed so this uh, this is an accept, expected failure so now this time i will pass the correct locator so simply i will go here and i will copy the class value and i will put it inside the our test so here i will add the class value correct class value so this time it will never retry the test automatically so this retry approach will be invoking when uh, test is getting failed i will rerun the test once again so this time there will be no attempts because our test is getting passed and if you see here so our test is getting passed and also you can see that there are no more attempts so this is how you can rerun the test automatically when test is getting failed in the cypress automation framework